Hello, Pearls. Welcome. Hey, Mav. Should we go grocery shopping today? Mm -hmm. Should we buy all the groceries we need that can live in the fridge, freezer, pantry for at, le at least 30 days? Should we buy all of those today, right now? Mm -hmm. Okay. We've got a $350 budget for food, $160 for all miscellaneous items that we've been building up the list for the last 30 days of things that we need. I've got my list. We're going to Target, we're going to Costco, we're taking you guys with us in store. I'm gonna show you every single thing that we're buying and I'm gonna give you the grand totals and you guys see if we can stick to the budget. Welcome back, I'm Brittany. This is Pennies Into Pearls where I teach you real life habits and tricks and traits and systems for you and your family so you can once and for all stick to a budget so you can stop stressing about money and create a better life for your family. When you're intentional with your money, you get to start achieving these amazing goals that probably right now you don't even think is possible. I'm gonna help you do that. So if that sounds good, you're gonna wanna consider hitting that subscribe button. Today's video is something I do every single month. I share with you our grocery haul. We take you in store like I told you. And um, before we head in, I needed to let you guys know that today's video is sponsored by my free meal planning on a budget toolkit. I will leave a link for the free download down in the description. But what it is, is it's an exact system and worksheets to go along with it that are gonna help you be able to meal plan whether you wanna do for a week, two weeks, a month like we do, and make sure that you get your grocery shopping done and have estimated prices per every item and I walk you through all of it. It's an amazing freebie that if you don't already have it, you need it. And also when you sign up for that freebie, you get enrolled in my free email newsletter, which is awesome because every month only my email newsletter pearls get access to my monthly meal plan. So that's the meal plan that goes along with this grocery haul that gives you um, recipes to every single meal that's budget friendly, delicious, tasty. So a link for that is in the description. You're not gonna wanna miss it. All right, we're heading to Target first. Let's go. So this is, oh that's Costco. This is my list, here we go, for Target. And you can see that every item I have, a price next to it. Um, in my free kit, I actually have a printable that makes this super easy for you to be able to do. Write down every item on your grocery list and put out an estimated total and then total all that based on category. So all of that's in the freebie for you. First thing on the list is a scrubber. I had down $4, six fifty. dollars I'm gonna have to make an adjustment on my list. So you get it. I really love the Greenworks brand, but Target hasn't had it forever. But this brand, 32 ounces for like $1.60, pretty good deal. My kids love doing crafts, so I'm gonna get this construction paper in hopes that they don't use my white printer paper as much, $4.99 for 240 sheets. Printer paper, I'm gonna get two of these, each have 500 sheets, and they are $3.99. It's a great time of year to go shopping. Just grab each kid one of these toy catalogs. They're entertained. Jergens Ultra Healing Lotion. This is a lotion that I found works so good with my kids and they have pretty bad eczema. So the kids use this, I use this. I'm getting two of them, 32 ounces for $7.99. Biore face, face Wash, it's $6.77. This is our like third or fourth bottle we've been getting, 677 ounces. And it's only 5.99 and it works great for both me and hubby. Tresemme hairspray is what Kennedy and I use. I usually go for the four dots. I don't know, unscented. 4.99 for 11 ounce bottle and I'm gonna get two of these because I can use my favorite cash back app, Fetch, um, to get major points on this every single grocery haul, but that's because I use it every single time I go grocery shopping, and when I do my monthly grocery shopping, I earn major points, especially if I pay attention to deals like this. If you haven't tried it already, I will leave my referral code down in the description box with the link. This is the stuff that we use on the boys' hair. So it's, I don't know, in this area with like gels. It's only $2.79 for a giant, Oh, I don't know, it's in grams, 340 grams. But sometimes I can find this at the 99 cent store. Oh. 
And this is what Hobby prefers to use. Gotta be glued. It's six ounces for four sixty nine. We're heading to the bathroom, of course. But we're walking through the medicine. We're stocked up, and I wanted to remind you that right now is the time to stock up. Um, when there's sales and things like that, look through your medicine cabinet and see what you're missing, what you might need, because you're gonna need children's ibuprofen, Tylenol, uh, what else? NyQuil, DayQuil, all that stuff. So make sure you're stocked up now before you run into an emergency and have to pay full price. $3.69 for the Colgate Kids toothpaste. It's 4.6 ounces. This is the kind that my kids like for the most part. With Thanksgiving coming up, I need a new thermometer because I ruined mine and I'm making sure that this meat thermometer is good in the oven as well. So it's $6.99 for this oven thermometer. Meat thermometer. Oh, that reminds me, dropped my pen. I'm doing a separate, come on, got it, a separate grocery haul for a Thanksgiving dinner I'm doing and I'm giving myself only a $50 budget to feed, um, I'm not sure, but I'm thinking like 15 to 20 people. So if you need tips on serving a deliciously fun Thanksgiving dinner on a budget, you're gonna wanna stay tuned because that's coming up here in just a couple of videos. 99 cents for 78 yards of floss. Sour cream, um, it's $1.99 for one and a half pounds. $2.89 for Philadelphia cream cheese and it is 16 ounces. Eight ounces, oh, eight ounces. I'm gonna get two of these and then I can freeze one bag until we're ready for it. Six bagels for 3 19 each. Campbell's cream and mushroom soup, 89 cents for one can. Ranch dressing, 269 Market Pantry brand for 24 ounces, 269. 32 ounces for 169. There's frogs. In this. There's frogs? Oh. This is such a good deal. Organic tomato basil pasta sauce, 208, and it has all clean ingredients. Look at, they have these new two pound boxes. I like those. 199, so it works out to be about the same price per pound. I know, I thought we needed two, but we only need one of these giant boxes. Then we need one of the elbow macaroni for 85 cents, and then we need one pound of rotini pasta for 89 cents, or 85 cents. I don't really love the brand of corn tortillas they have at Costco, so most of the time I just buy this giant, well it's not too giant, but this big pack of 25 ounces for 309 corn tortillas. Forgot, I need Three of these crema chicken, 89 cents each. I'm gonna be making taco soup this month, so I need three different cans of beans, which are anywhere from 55 cents to 99 cents, and then two cans of corn, 99 cents each. And I'm thinking, okay, let's remember, $6 for two ounces of vanilla here at Target. So I'm just gonna bite the bullet and buy the good vanilla at Costco. I'm noticing that a lot of these prices are like secretly marked down. You can see here that normally they're $2.89, only $2.49, which doesn't seem like much, but it's been like that on almost every product I'm buying. Anyways, we're buying 42 ounces of old fashioned oats for $2.49. Okay, this is everything we're buying at Target. I separate it into the miscellaneous items, like as in non-food items, and then food items. Do two separate transactions. For food, I'm thinking it's gonna be about 40. For food, I'm thinking it's gonna be about $41, and non-food, about $74. So, let's head to checkout. I'll meet you guys in the car. Okay, checking in. I thought food was gonna be about $41, worked out to be $32.08, so almost $10 under. Awesome. Miscellaneous, I was expecting to be about $74, and the subtotal was $72.25, but $5.60 in taxes works out to be $77.80, so we are doing good. Let's go to Costco. Got our Costco list. First thing we picked oh, up like was a up. pack of 48 AA batteries. I know we need AA all the time. Costco's brand is the best bang for your buck when it comes to batteries. This was only $15.99. Salami, $13.99 for two one pound pouches. This is great for homemade Lunchables. 
for 36 ounces of these Polish, Polish sausages. I just count them as hot dogs. They're 100% grass fed and the ingredients are pretty good. No nitrates and no preservatives. Shredded Parmesan, it's two pounds for only $9.99. Amazing price. $3.59 for the giant bag of tortilla strip. This is perfect for parties or like youth gatherings. $9.99 for the 44 pack of microwave popcorn. Five pounds of Dino Buddies for $12.49. $16.99 for three pounds of tilapia. One of our staples every month is a 10 pound bag of Tyson antibiotic free. Boneless, skinless chicken breasts, $18.99. $9.99 for four pounds of organic frozen strawberries. $5.59 for two gallons of milk. $8.49 for five dozen eggs, or so that'd be $1.69 per dozen. $9.99 for 66 count of rolled tacos. Two pound block of sharp cheddar cheese is only $4.99 at Costco, so good. Two two and a half pound bags of shredded Mexican blend cheese for 15 bucks. Organic cocoa powder, 25 ounces for only $6.69. $8.99 for two 48 ounce jars of peanut butter. Get it, bud. Thanks. $8.99 for 70 ounces of the frosted mini wheat. $3.79 for 24 count of burrito sized tortillas. You can freeze these too. $2.59 for 24 count of hot dog buns. You can freeze these and if you don't end up using them, turn them into French toast. Total splurge treat. We don't need this, but this authentic sourdough La Jolla baking company here in San Diego, so delicious. $3.99 for 44 ounces. $3.99 for the Kirkland brand soft and chewy granola bars, 64 count. $7.99 for the Dave's Killer Bread. This bread is so delicious and it has lots of good stuff in it. And you can freeze one while you wait while you're eating the other. $7.99 for 48 ounces of Cheez-Its. Secret treat for the kids. 48 fruit by the foot for $12.59. 40 ounces of Wheat Thins for $7.59. $6.99 for the peppermint and white chocolate pretzel thins. 20 ounces, so good. All right, we've got everything we need. Heading to checkout. Last receipt of the day. So between food and miscellaneous, because at Costco I only needed two things at Costco that were miscellaneous, and it's too complicated to separate it at Costco. So everything together, I was expecting it to be 265 plus 30, so about 295 plus taxes. The grand total was 272.34. Such great news. I'm about 60 bucks under budget, which is perfect because um, I'll probably use that extra to go towards our Thanksgiving dinner. So remember, make sure you're subscribed because you're going to want to see how I'm doing Thanksgiving dinner on a budget. Also, don't forget to sign up for my free meal planning on a budget toolkit. It has everything you need to get started, whether it's weekly or monthly or bi weekly, any sort of meal planning that's going to save you thousands of dollars a month. Before we started this system, we were spending over $1,000 per month on groceries just for Hubby and I. Now we have a family of five and our budget is $360 for food. So that's several hundred dollars a month that we're saving. What could you do with an extra? couple hundred dollars a month. There's a lot you could do. A lot of your goals that you've been putting off, you can start achieving them. So anyways, that's my grocery haul. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Let me know how you're liking the meal planning toolkit on a budget. He got rewarded with a treat, huh bud? Thanks you guys for watching. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.